Take a look at this. A little facsimile of the planet Mars. Is there life on Mars? In 2010, on our Lost World Museum website, when there was a big buzz about life on Mars, we said there is no life on Mars. Now, just a couple of months ago in the news, it said that they believe there is life on Mars, but it's going to take another 10 years to uh, be able to prove it. Friends, there is no life on Mars, and I'm going to explain in just a second. Now, you got to understand from the perspective of an evolutionary naturalistic point of view or worldview, there very well could be remnants or vestiges of some kind of extraterrestrial life on Mars or any one of our planets here in the solar system from an evolutionary perspective. But from a creationist perspective, and that's a perspective that comes from the idea that God created the heavens and the earth. He created life on earth. And he alone is the one who has the ability to create and to dictate whether or that that creation is going to be here, there, or otherwise. Let me share with you a demonstration of why I don't believe there's any life on Mars. This ant farm right here was inhabited by over 50 ants a few months ago. What happened was interesting. I gave them the proper amount of food and water, but after a couple of months, they all died out. Now, they could have died because of the fact that it didn't have a queen in there. But you're looking at an intelligent designer overseeing and superintending the ants. And even with that, I was not able to keep them alive for more than two months. So perhaps I didn't feed them the correct amount of food or water. But nevertheless, in their environment, they died. So we're to believe that a proto-RNA that somehow makes it to Mars would have lived out its life long enough to be able to be fossilized so that we can find the remnants of that, or that they're still there after how long? Four billion years of it just kind of creeping underneath the soil? Some kind of life or proto-life is there? Uh-uh. Look, I had a hard enough time keeping these bad boys alive in a ready-made environment. And that's the point I'd like to try to make here. And that is that when God creates, he creates an entire terrarium within six days. That means everything is there from water to air, gravity. He's got it all. And it's all done within a six day period. One thing following up the other that keeps it all going when you got it all together. You need a, a ready-made terrarium in order for life to not only exist, but persist. And you need something that's overseen it all. Now, from a naturalistic standpoint, that is that we evolved from a proto-RNA through rained on rocks 3.5 billion years ago, and that that is our heritage, and that somehow unattended, without any assistance, was able not only just to survive that, those harsh environments, but to thrive, even with several major, according to evolution, almost total massive extinctions that happen along the way. And somehow we are able to stick in there, hang in there, and then become us today. Is there life on Mars? I don't believe there is at all. Matter of fact, I'll go as far as saying that not only do I predict that they will not find any kind of life on Mars, they will not find it on any other planet in the solar system. So is there life on other worlds? Yes, but not in our solar system. And those that are out there, are they flying around in machines such as this or look like this? The answer is no, but all of this is for another video at some point. We created a special report called Is There Life on Other Worlds? In it, it explains what life on other worlds is like from an evolutionary standpoint and a creationist standpoint. Go ahead and drop down into the description. There'll be a special email there that you can email me and personally ask for it, and I'll be happy to send that along to you for free. So is there life on other worlds? Yes. Is there life on Mars or anywhere in this solar system? Even a microbe or an RNA or proto-RNA? The answer is no, there isn't. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch and we'll see you in the next video.